I was Fender guitar, Fender painting red. You can play me, darling, until your fingers play. Cycle, Vincent, red repeat. I ride around to your house, baby, get you up to speed. Alright, I'm going to try uh, this Winchester 22 250 55 grain soft point again and this time I'm going to try and record the velocities see where we, where we get with that uh, round last time I wasn't too happy with it at all uh, this time I just want to document it a little bit better and see maybe it shows up why um, so I'm going to give it a few shots So I just fired a four rounds of that Winchester. That's uh, 3662 was the lowest velocity. And let's see what's on my uh, record here. So an average of 3698, standard deviation 29.6. So maybe that's uh, a good answer. Fairly high velocity ammo and uh, Fairly big standard deviation. Pretty windy today. Um, the wind direction is pretty much straight on. Um, could take it as a zero, but still like to wait till the wind dies down a little bit before I can take this test shot with uh, Sierra. Gonna go uh, have a look at the target and uh, get set up, clean clean the rifle, get set up for the next group.
All right, so I started with 34 grains of Varget, and this is my first group. Um, it's not too bad, but it's um, it's about 0.8 of an inch, and we'll check on the velocities there. Um, next group was 34 and a half, and I believe that was I think one of the better ones. Uh, we'll we'll take a look in a second. Um, Thirty-five. It's not too bad. I, actually, I think that was the best one. It's point seven of an inch. And thirty-five and a half started to open up. Um, even pattern, very similar to the Reloader Fifteen group that I had. It was more of a triangle, but similar spread. And 36 opened up yet some more. So I think um, actually I might go back to Reloader 15 and try that charge once more and up a little bit and see where I'll end up. But let's take a look at the, at the app here and just compare the notes. So yes, looking at the, I think, yeah, this was my best group here, and 0.7 of an inch, yes. So 36.23 average velocity and standard deviation 12.5, it's, it's not terrible, it's actually better velocity than what I got from uh, Reloader 15 in the best group. but. I'll see, maybe I can improve upon that. So, not a bad test. Um, the next thing I'd just like to show you, as, as I mentioned before, um, I started testing factory ammo that, that was uh, Winchester 55 grain. It's a terrible, terrible group. Um, four shots. I, I took another six shots and uh, just to make sure the wind is not a factor. It was a windy day, so I, I tried to steady myself and wait for the wind to die down. So this was a six-shot group, and I believe it it went in. I should have marked it, but I believe that that group was sort of in this pattern, and then this triangle Just like this and like this um, I mean obviously you can get you can get uh, a clover and these are flyers 50 50 not really acceptable in, in my books um, but also if we look at the standard deviation I think it's in 30 and up so that's I'm just not gonna bother with that ammunition I'll collect the brass and that's about it um, I took some shots with a 45 grain hollow point and it wasn't a whole lot better um, crazy velocities you'll see on the chronograph it's uh, 3,900 feet per second. It's a pretty fast flying bullet, but this is a group that I got. Another thing I'd like to mention about the Winchester, for some reason, the 45 and the 55 kick significantly more than Sierra's that I loaded with Reloader 15 or the Varget. Not sure why that is. It's um, probably um, Winchester 760 or something like that that's that those rounds are loaded with um, although who knows really but um, I could tell for sure that the recoil was significantly less with the Reloader 15 and the Varget so that, that's kind of interesting to know
If I was staggering plain, staggering pain and red, fly over to your house, baby, buzz you in your bed. Ride around to your house, baby, give you driving pain. Play me, darling, until your fingers bleed. 